ladies and gentlemen, it is official. Croc Legend of the Gobbo's remaster is coming to PC and consoles as confirmed by the original developers, Agonaut Games. Now, the exact release date is not yet confirmed, but it is coming out sometime this year in 2024. Keep in mind there's only four months left of the year, so expect it to come out very, very soon. I thought it would be fun to compare the graphics head to head to each other. So the original Croc, which two years ago I uploaded a review on it, so we'll use my own game footage of the original Croc. Let's compare it to the new one to see, has there actually been any updates? Because funnily enough, this trailer doesn't compare the brand new footage to the old game, which is very surprising. When I covered Yooka Replay E, which is the remaster of the ukulele game, which I absolutely loved and I covered on this channel, did a technical analysis just like I'll do today, the developers were kind enough to have it literally side by side, let us see the differences. They were not that friendly in Croc, so when I saw it, I'm like, oh yeah, that looks better. I think, I don't know, they haven't done the side by side, so that's where I come in. I'll do the side by side so then you can see that yes, changes and upgrades and improvements have been done in a little bit of a controversial opinion. There's some areas I'm not happy about, so we will definitely cover that as well. Now before proceeding, let me firstly tell you everything that has officially been confirmed up until this point, so then I can respect your time and you get the most out of this video, in case you don't watch it all the way through. At least hit me up with a like and uh, let's proceed. Alrighty, so what do we know? As I said, coming to PC and consoles. It will also have updated modern controls, which I will remind you why that is a good thing. The original Croc has tank controls. Think Lara Croft from Tomb Raider or the original Resident Evil video games. Now, this naturally translates to if you push the joystick forward, Croc will do the same now. So we don't need to think too hard about that and that's obviously a very welcome addition in 2024. Also, it is not ruled out that there will not be a toggle option. So maybe old school fans such as myself can enjoy a tank control option. Now, what is easily and often forgotten about the PlayStation 1 era of games, especially the early games, is most games did not support joysticks. Sure, the twin pistol joysticks came out later on the PlayStation 1, but most of us only had controllers with the D-pad. As a result, there was no rotating the camera with the right joystick just like we do today. It was very rare and introduced later on. This was often done instead with the shoulder buttons, and Croc was no exception. So simply having the ability to run around with the left joystick and rotate the camera freely in Croc will be an absolute new addition. And having a look at the screenshot, which I'm sure I've had on the screen, or at least it's popping up now, this angle of Croc running around and the camera being so close to the ground looking up, that was literally not possible with the original design. So we can confirm at the very least, not that it's too much of a big deal, but we can confirm there is a free roaming full camera control in this game, and that's good. That means we can rotate the camera, we can perv on all the graphics, we can do that. All right, what else do we know that has been confirmed? Well, it does include the Crocipedia, and I quote, an extensive and meticulously curated digital museum containing long lost development assets such as game design documents, concept art, animation tests, team member interviews, and much more. So getting to see some smexy behind the scenes sort of things, that's always nice to get some behind the scenes goodies. And I'll drop a fun fact on here for you as well, just in case you didn't know. Does Croc remind you of Yoshi from the Super Mario series by any chance? Well, the development of the original Croc game was actually a Yoshi game. No, seriously, that's right. I honestly speak the truth here. When the team pitched their idea to Nintendo originally, they were rejected, but of course decided to proceed with the game anyway and make it their own. So that's why Croc may remind you of Yoshi. Originally, he was Yoshi. Nintendo didn't give the green light. Okay, cool. They went ahead and made Croc and we're all glad for it. Alrighty, that's all the confirmed info. And now it's time to compare the graphics and see if it is actually better than the original. 
let's proceed, right? Let's break down this new Croc Legend of the Gobos remaster video. I looked at the polygons, I looked at the textures, I looked at everything. Let's proceed. So firstly, have the 3D models, have they been changed or updated? The answer is yes. There are more polygons and this makes objects look more smooth instead of blocky. We can see this by looking at Croc's eyes. Also the wood stump that he's standing on. Before you had the straight lines, now it's smoother. Let's look at a more obvious example of this B comparison. I don't need to tell you the one on the left is from the original and straight from my game footage and the right is from the remaster. While character models have been updated, the actual environment seems untouched. Where the war sticks out at points, it still does. Not a complaint, but surprising just how one-to-one -one it can be to the original. The textures and materials, so in other words, what you see on the outside, has received the most noticeable changes. The B shows it the least as far as the texture is concerned, but if we look at this floating platform, you can see it's now much more detailed, clearer, and frankly, the game world itself is brighter as a whole. Another example here is the starting area of the game. This is the exact same spot across the two games, and you can see it looks like the same textures are used, but at a much higher resolution. Looking at this, it feels like a PC port of a game where the left side is the lowest graphic settings and the right side is maxed out. So outside of the improved controls, which will likely just have the ability to use both joysticks, this feels more like a Croc Legend of the Gobos HD feel, right? This is where I want to express some disappointment. I was hoping for a remaster similar to what they did with the Crash Bandicoot trilogy and the Spyro the Dragon game. What they did for Medieval and other PS1 games reborn on modern platforms. Now, I'm not saying that this is a deal breaker. I especially cannot say that as I did a review of Tomba or Tombi, which literally, apart from a couple features and a resolution increase, changed nothing. And I still enjoyed that game. I will, of course, enjoy this croc game, even if it's so faithful to the original that even the shadow has not changed. The old black circle underneath, it's still there. We don't even have a shadow. In many ways, especially if you look at some of the higher resolution screenshots that are available, and I'm sure it's on your screen right now, this is Croc with pre-rendered PS1 graphics that we could only dream of. Also, this may literally be the most a team can afford at this stage, and it does look nice enough. It could have been the exact same game with no improvements at all, but we are getting more than that. God bless you all, take care, and I'll see you all next time 